coach is ready but we're not really ready it has been such a great stay here it's just absolutely beautiful oh, so excited we're heading to Heartside Grove cannot wait so we are coming into Petoskey and it is just absolutely beautiful uh, the water wraps around the town you come in kind of off the hills it's quite a hilly drive in and uh, it is just picturesque We came from Traverse City. That's, so, a, that's a short drive. Yeah, it was real short, easy. That's a pretty drive going up yeah. around the water, going through yeah. Charlevoix. And uh, we're trying and, uh, to escape the heat to get something cool. Yeah. And uh, everybody says Michigan, and so far, Thank so good. You. Of course. Hi, Zach. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Up through here. Okay. And then take a right, and then take another right, and then back in are that they're showing people it's a new event this week so we'll be checking that out as well and showing y'all around and we're gonna be heading to our spot now it's really nice because these guys are gonna escort us to our spot and you always like an escort especially if you haven't been there before and here it gives you an idea of some of these new coaches that we can tour while we're here and during new week uh, they host events that you can see their coaches and you can talk with their sales folks while you're here. Some absolutely beautiful coaches. Um, we looked at Newell before we decided on buying a Prevo and they sure are pretty. Today we're at the Petoskey Brewing Company. It's in a historic building, and we've had several people to say, hey, we should go give it a try. Yeah, apparently it's supposed to have the best burgers around, so we'll be showing you around. 
Okay, I've got the owner's favorite burger. It's on a pretzel bun. It's got a, a hamburger patty, bacon, crispy onion rings, some barbecue sauce, pepper jack cheese, battered fries. I got a blue cheese bacon burger that has fig on it, so it's probably going to be delicious. So we got the scoop from our waitress, and here are the best wineries in the area. Right there. So make sure and check them out. Uh, we're going to be going to some, and we will show along the way. But it looks like um, Gabriel Farms, Toski Farms, Boyna Valley Vineyard, Thunder Bay, and Mackinac Trail. And she said her favorite was the Boyna Valley Vineyard. So we'll be showing y'all around. So up here at the one of the front clubhouses is the pool and the hot tub and it is really lovely. Um, not very well attended today. Very peaceful. A lot of people like to take their dogs on walks. And uh, But over there in the corner is an indoor bath and shower so that's nice. And then over there is the hot tub. So lovely spot. Oh, we are going toward the, what is it called? The Tunnel, Tunnel of Trees. Tree. Wow. We're heading that way. So as soon as I turn the camera off, of course we see a huge deer uh, hopping through. Oh wow, look at this adorable. Oh, it's U.S. Post Office General Store. How cute is that? Well, I think we're gonna have to stop at this. Well, we just found out that this place was all the way from Quebec and was disassembled and all, all the pieces were numbered and then reassembled here in 1997. So that's why it's so charming. And it's what, from the 1800 sack, isn't that what yeah. she said? Yeah. Absolutely Great. beautiful. Sack, I need to go. Well, there's a lot of trees out here, hon. No. Where are you gonna go? Oh, I'm gonna go there. Hey. hey Porta potties always come in in a pinch. So Zach and I are walking the streets of downtown Petoskey and it is so charming. So we'll be taking y'all along. 
So this is young Ernest Hemingway. He came here to Petoskey after World War I and recover from his injuries and actually in Petoskey is where he became a fiction writer. He also married his first wife here. So we are at the Simmons General Store in downtown Petoskey and it is adorable so make sure you stop in here for lotions, nuts, chips, they even have a deli at the end. Well they have a tasting bar so oh my goodness. This is maple caramel and then I had to try one of these uh, pecans and they're candy pecans but oh they are so delicious so here we go. Oh my. Are good? Oh my. Yeah. That's incredible. So Zach got his pears, so I had to get my candy pecans. They are yummy. Well, I don't know what Hemingway would have ordered here, but Linda's looks what I ordered. And I got what they suggested was the white fish that has been uh, lightly maybe in Parmesan. It is delicious. So highly recommend that. Get us a spot, Linda. Oh, wow. I can't wait. This is a treat. That bar is gorgeous. We're at Boyne Valley Vineyards. And this is here very near Petoskey. It's a beautiful area. It's got uh, a lot of vines and everything growing. Uh, it's not what you're gonna find on the peninsula at Traverse City. So that's a very, very developed wine country. So this is a little bit secondary, but I haven't had the wines yet. Who knows, it might be the primary once I have one, but it's a real fun little vineyard, very quaint, very country, very casual and comfortable. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun ceases to amaze me exactly how dirty you can get just by driving down a road. I'm talking not even in the rain, just driving. And it happened. So this morning, this is what we've got to do. So this particular crew, that, like all others, in the first step, they always uh, start with the roof. But unlike our last wash, these guys use DI, uh, DI water for the last stage of the wash. And it filters the water so much and takes out all the little particles that in theory, you don't even have to dry your coach. Uh, the water can just dry it, it won't spot or anything. Now, because we have so much chrome on this coach, I have asked them to go ahead and do uh, a towel dry at the end. I know some people don't like that because they're worried about scratching. Uh, I just find it puts a little extra shine, makes it look a little better. So uh, they'll, they'll still do some drying to an extent, but the DI water is a huge help to this. here at Superior Coach Detailing. Uh, we're at Harsight Grove right now, but this same crew or same company uh, also had the car washing service over Travers Bay RV Resort, which we just came from. So this guy has trucks at both places, and turns out during the winter time, he has trucks that run down into Florida. I don't know, one of the things that puts me in my happy place is when the coach gets washed. Linda goes, it must be some kind of guy thing that you all like your coaches to be really shiny and clean. Yeah, I guess it is. It sure does look better when it's done. How many of these do you guys do in a day? Uh, it depends on where we're at and like in a park like this today, we can do five, six, seven, depending on wow. what we're doing to them. This washing, we can do even up to 10 a day. Man, that's <laughs> kicking it out. Oh yeah. If you see these tanks right here, 
One is cation, the other one's anion, and that's what makes the water spot free from beginning to end. The water processes through those tanks first, and then it goes into the holding tank. And how so, well does the DI water actually work, do you think? Oh, it works pretty good. It actually leaves no spots. It really does? Yeah. Yeah. We got the coach washed this morning. We had a storm come through last night. It's supposed to be the last rain for a bit, so we'll cross our fingers because I like the coach nice and clean and spotless. So that's done, but that's not the only thing that needs to be cleaned this morning. So it is time to do a black on our coach. It's a real nice setup. We can take the water hose. It's got a little leader that you put on it, and I'll show you that. And uh, it has got spray heads inside the tank. So we're gonna wash that black tank down. And so I'll just simply hook it up to this leader here. And then once that's done, I turn on the water let it flush for a while with the tank valve closed all right on an empty tank let that go through then flush that out once that's done i'll do one more with it closed let everything flush out and then i'll flush for a while with the valve open so things just go right out as it goes and then if i really want to do it great i'll do one more closed flush open and then that way it moves any solid pieces out but it gets that black tank really clean, helps keep your sensors clean, and uh, it also produces odors that you know you just can get from time to time. All right, we're gonna close that black and gray tank both here. That's done. Over here, turn on the water pressure. That will go straight now into my black tank rinse. And you should be able to hear this. So now that tank is rinsing. And again, I'll just let it rinse real well, pushing things in. Got it closed so the water level builds up and pushes any solid materials that might be in there back out of the tank. And then again, we'll go through that rest of that process of doing again with it closed, then running it for a while open, and then one more time closed. And it really gets your tank nice and clean. And like I said, it gets the tent, uh, sensors cleaned up, the tank cleaned up, helps with the odor. Um, just something that's nice to do and it's it's easy move a hose turn on a valve you gotta love it running a while and so we're gonna dump this and I'm gonna be a little risky here I'm gonna show you what it looks like but I wouldn't be showing it to you if it wasn't clear it should be clear and it's clear So this will be a big dump. We'll do this big dump. Then I'm gonna leave it open for a little while, let it do a final rinse in there, and then we're gonna have a nice clean tank. And then we'll go inside and treat the tanks. Okay, so now that our work is done on the outside, it's time to come in and do a little work on the inside and we're going to use Odorless. My two favorite is Odorless and also Camper's Buddy, Camper's Friend. I'll have to look it up. I'll put a, a label in here, but the reason I like those two is they're very good with odor. Now, a lot of the products that you put in your tanks, they talk about how it digests things. 
that's not what we're wanting to do, okay? This is not a septic tank, it's a holding tank. We're just wanting to cut down on the odor and get it out of there when we dump. If you break everything down in the smallest sludge pieces, that sludge tends to stay in this tank. So if you see something advertising, oh, what a great job it breaks down, you might want to think twice. If it talks about how it's keeping odor down, that's what you're looking for. So I found odorless to be a good way to go. Uh, now in this particular bottle, it has got, as you can see here, a little holding tank size container and it shows what size your holding tank is, 20, 40. We have a much bigger tank here, it's uh, pushing 80 gallons. And so I'm gonna use twice that amount. And I'll take it and pour from the main container here over into the little measuring area and then dump two of those in there and a few flushes because you want some water in there. So now, once I get that done, I'm gonna take a little bit and put in my gray tank. We don't have odor problems, but I just want to make sure that we stay that way and don't have odor problems. So I'm going to put a little in here and dump that into the sink. Once all that's done, then we've got a nice cleaned tank and a nice deodorized one as well. And we don't get paid for this endorsement. This is just trial and error. Yep. And this is what we have found to be the best solution for our product. So keep that in mind. I've got a really great container here for measuring things. So I'll do one more now. And what I have coming is I have uh, the refill for this. And it's a better price. So there's what I've got done. Now we'll give it a quick flush. There it goes. Another flush. And filing one more. So now we've got three flushes on the tank. It puts some water down in there with the odorless product and will help it to work as we begin to use the black tank. Okay, due to the type of hose that I have, I want to take, turn my water off and release all the pressure on that hose because it squeezes down and when it does, water comes out of that hose. So we're going to let it release for a minute and then you're going to get a little bit out of that lead. Nothing more than a lead. That's it. So. I'll get everything buttoned up here. We're gonna stop dumping our, our gray tank. We're gonna turn off the power dump. And guys, we're pretty much finished. So now, not only we have nice clean, sprayed out tanks, but we have deodorized tanks as well. All done, minimal effort, and uh, just good maintenance for your coach. So this is a Liberty spot. A lot of the major converters, especially in the Prevos, Newells, Newmars, have lots here at Hearts, uh, Heartside Grove. And so behind us, that is one of Liberty's lots. And that's one of the coaches that they have for sale. Well, that's a really pretty coach. So if you're wondering how you know where a Liberty or a Marathon or a Newell spot is, they have little subtle ways of telling you. <laughs> yeah. Look for the flags. But you barely notice. One here has a lot of water features. It is a beautiful spot. 